Hello there, my name is Ismas, and welcome to another Blender Daily Tip. And today we're going to be looking at how I made this kind of window uh, metallic uh, decal. Uh, yes, so this is part of our training series that I'm working on. Uh, that I have started uploading. That that will be on uh, Blender Money, uh, my second channel. Uh, so it's going to be a, a four-part series, uh, just explaining the basics of uh, making a building apartment like this. And uh, the good thing about this is that uh, when I was trying to make this model, uh, I wanted to edit uh, the uh, kind of model the the apartment while looking at the final result. So I'm not model in the tutorials. You will see that I'm not modeling them in, modeling this building in this solid view, but uh, modeling it directly in uh, texture mode, uh, so that I can see how the final thing is going to look like. So in the beginning uh, of this tutorial, uh, you will see that I applied the material, all the materials we're going to be using, and started extruding. So say if I wanted to add a second floor here, let me select this building here. I just need to extrude and you see all the textures will be applied. And uh, if I wanted to add another window here, I will just select uh, this window. I just need to have them parented. So let me see if I have everything selected. Shift D, move that and then select this box here, uh, which is which would be uh, the boolean uh, that would cut out uh, that window and also duplicate that and I will have a window. So I kind of trying to create a workflow uh, that uh, enables me to see uh, the final results as I'm working. And I think this is very useful uh, to kind of easily see uh, the final thing as you're working on it. And uh, you can see even for this brick uh, texture, if I say extruded this, you can see that uh, I'm extruding the texture as well. Uh, so all of these tricks and tips, can be, you can find them in, the, uh, in that actuarial series so it's a very short series I, i'll try to keep it i tried to keep it at uh, uh three three or four parts and uh, i can see we even have a few cuttings inside here if i can just select them go back to this shift d and see yeah so but uh so you, you can go to blender money uh, my second channel i uh, subscribe and watch uh, the, the series i've just uploaded one part but uh, um with, i'm uploading uh, part two here uh, so yeah by by this by the time you're watching this uh, all the four parts or three parts i don't know how long this would be but uh yeah they will be uploaded there uh, so yeah let's go in and start looking at how to add how to create this uh, so let me open up a new uh, blender project And by the way, uh, if you want to download other project files, you can find them on Patreon. Uh, yes, yeah, so uh, so what we're going to do, I, I used an animate texture, a, a black and white image texture to apply, to kind of use it as a mask to, to tell Blender where the transparent parts of this uh, kind of metal bar, a metal deco is. So let's find that image. Uh, so I think I have it somewhere here. I'll just first add uh, the plane uh, that is going to be as this is going to act as our window. I'll uh, go to shading mode, uh, create a new material, and then you can see the new principal BDS BSDF uh, has this alpha value and uh, it can tell Blender where the transparency parts are. So if you drag any texture, black and white image texture, uh, you can feed doesn't have to be a PNG with alpha, but uh, if it's black and white, so let me hold on control shift and then click this node after that, so that you can preview uh, the texture. Uh, this only works if you had a node run the add, add on any mode. So this is our black and white uh, texture, but we are going to use it as the alpha, uh, alpha mask for this. So I can connect this directly into uh, the alpha mask and uh, preview this now, control shift and then clicking on node. And right now you see that uh, there is not not really there is not not much uh, going on. We're not seeing any results. Uh, this is because if you are in EV, uh, you won't see any results. But uh, let's switch to cycles and see. Also, see to red mode here. You can see in cycles we are already seeing some results here. But uh, in EV we would have to tweak a few things. So if we go back to EV, 
uh, you have to go to the material settings of the material you're creating. I just scroll down and uh, under uh, the material setting, there is an option for blending mode and uh, you can choose uh, to have alpha blend or alpha hashed, clipped and any and other options. So if you try add additive, let's make sure, hope, hope it doesn't kind of crash. See, additive uh, has a way of working. Let me, let me just add something in the background so that you see what's going on. All right. Let me just copy something here. Let me copy this. Part of this building and put it behind. See, if we choose uh, the, blend, the blend mode of additive, you can see uh, all the parts are still are kind of uh, translucent, uh, but uh, yeah, we don't want uh, these white areas to be translucent. I w actually want this, we want the inverse of this, we want the white areas to be this here and uh, the black areas to be transparent. So I need to add an invert node here uh, that is under convert. Uh, under color invert just need to give it a moment you can see uh, these are the results how we are seeing which is which works but uh, I think you can see that uh, it's kind of uh, kind of making it a bit glowy if you if you can look at it clearly I don't know if you can see that but uh, uh, it looks a bit like it's emitting light uh, so if you change this from additive uh, to alpha say clip and see now we are getting much better results uh, without that glow uh, that was created by uh, the additive. Let me make a copy of this so that you can see the difference here. So let me do this and uh, also uh, kind of duplicate the material. Change this back to alpha additive. You can see this is kind of, it has a glowing effect on it and uh, you can see even the texture is a bit pixelated around uh, the corners around there. It's not, it, it doesn't give you as good results as alpha clipped, but uh, still alpha clip is not also the best as you can't say you, you just had a value here, you didn't have a texture. Let me just, okay, I want to use it on this here. Say you didn't have an, uh, a value, uh, a texture here applied. Uh, if you tried uh, to use a slider effect like this, you can see you don't have in-between values like this. So if you had, say, a texture with more with a kind of gray pixels uh, that are not uh, fully white or fully black, let's add something like, let me see, let me see. Let's add, let's add a gradient, a texture gradient. can see it gives us that kind of fading uh, gradient. Let me just make add a convert power ramp so that we can control uh, let me control the gradient. Uh, so if you try to uh, to use this in the alpha, let me preview this then. You can see there is no blending we have from the texture. So it's either fully transparent or, or fully opaque. So it clips off uh, those gray, those gray uh, colors. Or, or it, yeah, it clips off the whites and black to, gi to give you a fully white or black mask instead of kind of giving you that faded uh, gradient. Uh, so if you wanted to have those details in, you would use uh, the alpha blend. Just give it a few seconds and you can see now we, we get a blend uh, that is presented in our gradient as well so so fortunately uh, maybe not fortunately but uh, we don't have uh, those middle kind of gray uh, shades in our texture so even alpha clip would work here but uh, if you wanted to capture those gray middle kind of yeah pixel 
uh, colors you would use alpha blend instead of alpha a clip so let's use alpha clip here sorry alpha blend here for this as well and uh, then yeah this is what we have let me just remove this so this is what we have and uh, I guess you can let's see let's see you can add make it a bit reflective so I just put this behind an image another plane with a different material or uh, just a glass material so for the glass I just also give it an, a less uh, an alpha value something like 0.5 and use alpha blend as well and then turned up sorry added some reflections reduce the roughness sorry and uh, uh, also if you want light to go through this you would change uh, the shadow mode from opaque to something like alpha clipped or alpha hashed uh, if you want uh, some refractions you would add uh, screen space refractions uh, but uh, make sure you have that also enabled in under here and uh, yeah Uh, right now the problem is that uh, there isn't much to reflect on this here so you can see there is a, some bit of reflection so if you want to have more kind of a more powerful uh, reflection you would give this a metallic value so that you have sharp reflections like that and just reduce the alpha and you can see so if, you, if it's not metallic you'll see that uh, you don't really get that kind of glass look you're looking for so give it a metal uh, metallic look and then just play around with the alpha to get uh, those sharp, sharp reflections you see let's see try something here that I didn't try in the tutorial uh, if I added say a bump map convert mm, sorry vector bump I think this can let's see the results we are getting here yeah you can get some bumps as well from that but uh, from depending on the distance you're going to be viewing this it may not uh, matter as much so yeah but uh, yeah this is how I achieved uh, this so if you want to watch the entire tutorial just go uh, of the, the entire process just go to the second channel and watch uh, that thank you for watching